My hands, I can't feel them anymore. I am like frozen. Let me. Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Mixtape 51. I am doing a little bit something different on this one. I'm doing more of a vlog style video. And uh, I thought I would kind of take you guys along with me on doing a shoot down at Tempe Town Lake. It was one of those days where I was trying to just uh, rush to catch the sunset. And where I live to where I was shooting is probably about a good half hour. So, uh, you know, typical me, I way overthought and overthought. I don't know if you've done this as well. It drives me absolutely crazy that you'll overthink some to the point where you've got, you know, this sliver of time to where you can make it happen. And that was this day. And so, anyways, I rushed down to Tempe Town Lake. If you're not familiar with Tempe Town Lake in Arizona, it's it's beautiful place to go. It's uh, this man-made lake. And as the years have gone by, they've built more and more uh, buildings off to the side of it. And it's just become more and more stunning. It's just a, a awesome spot to go shoot. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna get something on this particular shoot. And here is the final image of what I did get and I thought I would just take you through that process of how I got to this specific image and, uh, and what I did editing wise. Now let me kind of take you through shooting down at Tempe Town Lake and, and this particular day, I will tell you, the, the biggest challenge by far was that it was so cold and it had been raining that day. Uh, and that was one of the big reasons that I headed down there is because I'm really inspired when you've got some cool clouds in the sky. You know, if it's just a, a really clear day, I'm not chomping at the bit to go take photos. And this particular day we had, you know, some storms come through. I was thinking, this is going to be awesome because we're going to have some dramatic clouds to shoot. And when I got down there, unfortunately, it was not everything I was hoping for. Uh, there were some clouds, as you'll see, but it wasn't as dramatic as I was wanting. And it, it, to, so to start with, I was really just trying to go through that process of finding, you know, what the right composition was going to be, where the best lighting was coming from. All right, so the plan is I am going to try and do a long exposure to kind of get this water a bit smooth and then hopefully capture some cool sunset slash clouds with those dynamic colors. I may end up shooting in a different direction than I was thinking. By the way, I already know that my beanie slash hat is going to become a fashion statement. I know, it's awesome. I, uh, I'll be sure to link these down below in case you know, you're interested. Alright, <laughs> let's try and get a photo. try and get some reflection shots and then get the heck out of here. I officially can't feel my fingers and I think there may be snot coming from my nose so please excuse me <laughs> if there's random fluids dripping from my face but uh, I am so done I can't uh, I can't take the cold anymore. We are back in my warm and cozy studio uh, no longer freezing and I wanted to show you guys the edits that I made quickly in Lightroom and with that being said, I also wanted to kind of uh, comment on that. I'm In this video, I'm using a Fuji X-T3. Now, with the, the way Fuji does or formats their sensor, from what I understand and have been researching, Lightroom is not the best option to use. So recently, I have downloaded Capture One, and there's one other option that I'll be possibly using, which is a plugin for Lightroom to make it more usable. Um, but... The word on the street is that Capture One seems to be the optimum solution for using Fuji. Uh, but I'm still going to show you in Lightroom since that's what I initially used and I'm still trying to figure out Capture One. The other thing I wanted to mention is that you saw how I was kind of shooting different compositions in the video and I as well bracketed and, and did several different things. But the funny thing is, is the shot I ended up using was a shot where I wasn't filming. I was just trying to get some reflection shots. And this particular composition, I really liked how the ball structure 
was uh, being reflected in the water and then just the overall composition I thought was really pleasing. So this is the one I'm going with and gonna show you guys. I didn't really work on any of the others. I just didn't feel like they were uh, worth taking out the time to edit. All right, let's jump into Lightroom and you can see the edits I've made and hopefully that's helpful to you. All right, so I've brought the image into Lightroom and as you can see, it's quite a bit different from the final version that I created. And just a heads up, this is not uh, like tutorial on Lightroom and I'm you know not gonna get this exactly like the other one that I created, but I'm just hoping that in showing you some of the adjustments that I made, that it might be helpful to you, uh, you know, maybe with some of the photos that you're working on. And uh, so yeah, let's jump in here. And one of the first things I did was to bring down the sky here. So I'm gonna go ahead and invert this and then reset the tool. And let me stretch this a little bit so I can get this area. And so I'm just trying to bring down the highlights so that I can bring back some of the detail here. And let me go ahead and bring that down a bit. And then one of the other big things I did was to get this visually straight looking. So I adjusted this just a smidgen. And we'll go ahead and go with that. That's one of the hardest things, I swear. And then the other thing I did was I wanted to go with a, f a final version as a 16 by nine. So I cropped in with that setting and then adjusted this a bit, moved this down a bit so we get more of the sky. And then also I kind of lined this up here. Let me adjust that just a little bit more like that. All right. I think that's about looking right. So we're right about there. And then let's go to hit enter on that. And I started messing a bit with the temp and the tint. So let's try this out. I wanted to warm it up a bit more. And I introduced a little bit more magenta. And then as far as the highlights, I brought that down for the overall picture a little bit. And the shadows, I brought up a little bit. And then the whites, I brought down a little bit. And the blacks, I wanted to crush those blacks a little bit more, so I brought that down a little bit too. We'll scroll down here. And then one of the last things I worked with is the split toning section. A lot of times I'll only add highlights just because I think sometimes when you add the shadows as well, it just changes the color tones too drastically. I, I want it to still look natural. And so I went in here and click somewhere around there. This is one of the most awesome tools. I mean, basically click around in here until you find the tone that you really like. And I think that is gonna do it for me. And then, you know, adjust the saturation to where you're keeping it natural. And again, it's not overpowering the image. Um, I'll show you what shadows looks like on here. If we went ahead and added that, you can see it just way overdoes it and it doesn't look natural anymore. So I'm gonna control Z that, or sorry, command Z that on a Mac. I think control Z on a PC. And then one of the other things I did was to remove these because I felt they were a bit distracting. So I'm gonna come in here and choose the spot removal tool. Go ahead and click there. Kind of move that around to your liking. And then let me click here. And let's see here, come on, there we go. And then this is a cloud reflection, but I still thought it was a bit distracting. And I wanted to go ahead and remove that. Uh, let's get that out of there, come on. All right, there we go. So those are all now removed. We can go ahead and get out of there. Actually, it looks like we got one more spot here. That's kind of being weird. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah, all right, so that's all gone. And let's take a look here. I think one of the last things I did was to adjust a bit of contrast. Um, and again, this, you know, photography is one of those things where it's all so personal preference. Um, I really like things a bit more contra contrasty and, and to pop a bit more. Um, I'm still 
yeah, let's make that the darks a bit darker. Bring down the whites a little bit more. Let's bring down those. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, it's the highlights. Okay. Yeah, bringing down those highlights, I think, gets it more of where I had my previous photo and also more to my liking. I swear, you can play with these like all day long. All right, now I think it works better to bring up the shadows. Yeah, that's looking better. Maybe let's add in a little bit more contrast again. Bring down the highlights just a little bit more. And yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. Um, oh, I almost forgot. One of the other things I did was, you can see here how the clouds, I really got a lot of noise in there. And one of the things that really helps with that is to go to luminance. And I took that up to a 50. And that did a really good job of taking that down and uh, taking away how distracting it was. Yeah, there so. you have it. I think I'm pretty happy with that. And um, and that gets pretty close to what I previously had. So I hope that that helps you guys out as far as seeing the sliders that I worked with to really transition this. And let's look at the before and after. Oh, that's so dramatic. Yeah. Lightroom's so amazing. I mean, that's like night and day. It just pops. Thanks for joining me on this one, you guys. And if you have any tips and tricks that you use in Lightroom that you think would have been helpful and uh, you know you can create a conversation below, that would be awesome. I think we can all use more tips and tricks when it comes to Lightroom. That program is just so robust and there's just so many things to know. If you guys enjoyed the content, could please hit the thumbs up. I would so greatly appreciate. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the little bell thingy. And uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye. Let me. Let me.